I'm Roger Oakland. Welcome to uh, our eighth report from Hubli, India. I'm sitting outdoors uh, so that you can hear some of the background noises. We're right downtown in the middle of Hubli, and all around us there are many different sounds. You'll hear the train, you'll hear the cars honking, and uh, you'll see people, or if you were here, you would see people walking alongside the sidewalk on their way to work. Now, I just wanted to discuss uh, some of the background and the interesting people that God has put together here so that uh, Price Homes International will be expanding to India. As is the case with every other country, our program really doesn't function unless we find men, women, of God on the ground in the country with integrity uh, that also have the same vision that we do to come alongside poor and unfortunate children. And before coming here, uh, Pastor Tom, who has been here several times before, uh, knew that uh, the environment here would be very uh, compatible with uh, the Bryce Homes program. So I've been here now, made the observation. We found the people, uh, Pastor John, his colleagues here in the city of Hoopley. <clears throat> the first thing they did is show me a number of families, uh, some widows, uh, some complete families living in uh, places that uh, were essentially uh, not only shanties, but these were condemned buildings that were being knocked over in uh, the slum areas. So uh, we visited them, and uh, we didn't make any promises, but uh, we told them that um, we would pray and see what God would do in order to, that we could help them. So uh, after meeting together with the leaders, uh, we made the decision to establish uh, five homes here in Hoobling, five different homes. And another location with another pastor, Pastor Wilson, in a city that's uh, about 300 miles from Hoobling. When he shared with me the need in his area and the burden that he and his wife had to look after children, essentially children of single mothers who were prostitutes. Uh, these children wander the streets. Uh, the mothers, of course, can't look after them. And kids are in absolute hopeless situations. And Pastor Wilson uh, has a friend, uh, and the friend, of course, uh, <clears throat> it's a couple with uh, his wife. They have a vision to set up a, a home where they could bring some of these children in uh, with cooperation, of course, from from the mothers who were the prostitutes and that they would minister to the children and then the children would minister to their mothers so this would be a whole other avenue the Bryce Holmes program could function. So we will uh, move ahead in that direction. So what I'm about to tell you is we're officially launching uh, Bryce Homes in India which will be the eighth country and uh, as usual you know not uh, solicit we share the vision. And uh, when I get back, uh, Ron Periotti will uh, be putting up uh, tabs on our website for Bryce Homes India, and uh, people as they're led can contribute. At the same time, uh, people can support India, designate their support via, by a check to either uh, nonprofit organizations <laughs> in Canada or in the USA. So, from my point of view, this has been a very successful trip. The conference in itself, I felt, was uh, productive because we gave tools uh, for people. Uh, their faith was strengthened and they could go out and share their faith with others. And we were able to do what we came here to accomplish, and that is uh, to observe the land. The message I shared on Sunday morning with the church, uh, one of the churches was for the book of Nehemiah. You know, when Nehemiah's brothers and friends came from uh, Israel and they told him about the bad condition 
he was uh, grieved, he was troubled, and the Bible says he sat down, uh, he wept, he fasted, and, and he prayed, and uh, prayed, he prayed a prayer that, God, what should I do, and lead and direct me, and uh, so uh, God gave him the vision, and provided the provision, and uh, that's what our prayer is, Lord, we, we've seen the bad condition. And help us now uh, through prayer and through your provision to make a difference. Uh, we can't change India. We can't even change the city of Hublin. Uh, but we can change a few lives in the midst of this. So, Lord, uh, this is your ministry, not ours. And uh, John has already prayed. Uh, when I shared with him, we have somewhere over 80 Bryce homes around the world. He said, We'll pray that uh, soon you'll have a hundred and that twenty of those will be in India. Well, that only God knows, but uh, certainly there's a need. And uh, if that's what God wants, then we want to be the vessels which He uses uh, to provide to change the lives of children. So thank you for uh, listening to our reports. This this may be the last last report. Tomorrow we we head on our first leg. Uh, to uh, drive a couple of hours to catch a plane to fly an hour to get to Bangalore and then are on our way back. Uh, it's going to be a long journey and uh, I'm sure I'll have a lot of time to think and pray. And, uh, thank you for those that are praying and continue to pray that uh, God opens these doors in India and the uh, Bryce Homes will be established in a way that will obviously show God's blessing. Thank you.